Hour with Bob. Bob's guests tonight include me, Michaela Johnson from The Road Show and The Rhode Island Marines. Here's Bob. Wow, Michaela, I mean, you look awesome in that shot. I mean, that's better than they do on, on Fox with you. <laughs> Well, well, we have a crack crew, you know. We got like 20 people working here doing nothing the, but the doing, best. Doing Bob. the design, huh? Set design and everything, right? You got a you got a heck of a crew here. Yeah, huh? A heck of a crew. Yeah, they all have the same last name. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Like, how you doing? It's been it's been how long since you've been on my show? It has been since the last snowy day. I realized that when are I you, was. Are you driving. kidding? So it's you. Because it's you. Yeah. Apparently, you just want me to come here and and take oh, no, on days that it's snowing. Oh no, you knew this before it was snowing. I know. All right. So wait. Apparently, now. I'm the when jinx. When was it snow? That's Am what I'm trying to say. Now? That's what I'm trying to say. You're the jinx. When was it? When was it? Do you remember the dates? I don't know. It was like towards oh. the beginning of the year. So it was a year ago. You think? Uh, maybe a little less. Maybe a little less. It was towards, you like know, January we had this or new February crew. Or something? You, had, you had me, Will, and Mary, right? Didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but didn't I have you alone before? You did. All right, so yeah. when was that? Don't tell anyone about that, though. Oh, I'm my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I said that, I'd get in the of the bowl. I'm glad you said it. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. We've had, we've had a lot of fun. I'm glad to be back. I'm happy to be here. Yeah? Um, did, they, did they, like, say, oh, you can't go on that show? Or, you can go on that show. You should go on or you shouldn't go on? Oh, uh, we happily want to promote the road show as much as we can. Yeah. So. Yeah. We got to spend an hour with you. That's what we do. All right. Well, oh, oh, come on. We've got to spend an hour with you. Oh, thanks a lot. It's like what, like pulling teeth or something. No, it's great. We have a we have an awesome time when we're now, here. Now, now you're getting ready to. Uh, you're gonna lose my girl. My Mary, other girl. My I other know. Girl, my I was gonna girl. say, hey. My I'm other girl. Uh, yeah, you know, it's about that time of year again where we're looking for our next co-host in the Search right. for a Star contest. And right now we're down to the top five. Uh, yeah, so, you lost one of my girls. Yeah, this is when the uh, the pressure really turns on for them. And they get out and they, they get sent out with cameras. They have to do all these different assignments to see who can really hack it. Now, what what's up in the top five? Is it four women and one guy? Yes. And what does Will want? The guy or the woman? You know, we've kind of... Not we've been, what he wants, we've but been I mean, what, what does he prefer? I, I won't even touch upon that subject. <laughs> we've been chatting throughout this entire process, and honestly, you know, there's been guy co-hosts in the past, there's been girl co-hosts right. in the past, and we're really, this year, we just want someone... What do you got, two and two so far, right? Yeah, so someone's going to break the tie. Right, it's got to, unless it's, but, you know, it could be, you know transgender or something okay. have, have all covered or I don't think any of them something. are but no? hey, well, you, you never know you never know you really never know but uh, no we were just saying we want someone who's going to be able to do everything in the show we want really? someone who's going to provide creative ideas and be able to actually do the work so guy or girl it really doesn't matter at this point yeah but you don't want anybody to outshine you Oh, that's fine. This is a great opportunity. If they can use this to, you know, boost their career and, and yeah. continue on. That's what I've done. I mean, I used that search for a star contest, and now I'm one of the, you know, permanent right. hosts on the right. show. So I use that to, to boost Well, you you up. were in uh, a different position than Will because you actually were there. So you, you understand what these people are going through. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's interesting, too, because I went through this when I was auditioning. Right. Then I went through it last year, kind of from the outside, you know, when Mary was auditioning. So I've experienced it from both sides, right. and now I'm even more involved. When we were announcing the top five, Will and I both kind of had pits in our stomachs, and we were nervous for them. Wow. So I don't even know wow. how we're going to announce the winner of the whole thing. No, you're thing. going right from the top five to the winner, or yeah. top five to three? No, top just five, right to the winner. bam, right well, to the winner. When's that going to happen? That happens uh, December 10th. That oh. is a big prime time That's special. That's a Monday night. Oh, that Monday a, day. That Monday a, day. Monday. No, Monday oh, night. Oh, it is Monday Oh, it's night. a prime time special. Oh, wow. It's a half hour special. The, uh, um, thank God it's not the same night as my choice for tots, which is the next good. night. Good. Okay. Tuesday. That, we planned it that way. Oh, good. I'm glad. We wanted I'm to glad. make sure that audience, All right. audiences All right. could watch both. We don't want to see that happen. But that's a big night. So basically, they'll have a month to, to go out and do these different assignments. And based on that and kind of interacting with them, we, well... They decide who the winner should be. Oh, well, who we try and win. Well, Will and I definitely have a say, but it's a lot of you know the the sales department, the you know executive producers of the show, the producer, the director. So it's a lot of there's a lot of interaction when you work on the road show. It's a team atmosphere. Right. So you kind of have to be involved in a lot with a lot of different people. So now, it's I a group to, decision. I had tried it for the first year, mm -hmm. and. Back then, the, the requirement was, one of the requirements was, that you had to be a Rhode Islander. Mm -hmm. But that apparently is not the case. It, well, it wasn't really the case anyway, that back then, even though they said it was. Right. 
Because they picked a guy from Boston. It definitely helps because, you know, all the, like, quirky little things sure. about our state. Or yep. if you mentioned something about, like, And Almax you'll be in Rhode Island. They're from, or you Rocky Point. Province? I know you're from mm-hmm. East Province, right? You're yeah, born, born and raised. Who's that over there? My mom is here today. Mom's here? Her yeah, name mom, was Joanne. Her, her name is Joanne. Yeah. She's super supportive, so I try and uh, yes. take her to as many things as I can. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's very nice. it's nice. You know, I get to do a lot of ama- I have a lot of amazing opportunities through my job. So I try sure. and you know bring my sisters, bring my dad, bring my mom, bring the pets if I can. Do they fight over who's coming? Every once no, in a while? I try no? and I try and divvy it up too. Like I know if well, what, what maybe might, I wouldn't bring my dad like. to like a ballet or certain right. something like that because I know he wouldn't like it. Well, how um, do you know? I, I've been to a ballet. Oh, I throw it out there, but it usually will. You know, there's a game on really? of some kind. Oh, really? <laughs> How about a ballet game? I was in one of them in Russia. They had a ballet. No, I went to I went to the <laughs> so ballet those in exist? Russia. I went to the Bolshoi Ballet in Russia, wow. Moscow. It would be impressive. Not gonna lie. However, I just know like some of my sisters would probably appreciate it a little bit more. Yeah. So I try and cycle everything around. Oh, yes. now, how many sisters? Three sisters. Three sisters. So I'm one of four girls. No bro, no boys. Oh no. So your your father's got to deal with five women in the house. He loves, and we have two dogs, and they're both girls too. Oh my God! So there's we grew up, and there was just like so oh. much estrogen happening. <laughs> but he he loves it. He wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, we we played sports. We had those you know stereotypical right, boy right. things when we were little. He coached our teams, and we watched games with him. And oh, you, did you play baseball? I played softball. Yeah, first baseball. Outfielder. No, I was, well, I pitched for a while, and then oh, I was okay. a second baseman. Oh, second baseman? Yeah. Nice spot. Second baseman. Yeah. Oh, I only said that because you're Lots tall. Lots happened there. I figured that uh, they usually pick the taller girls to play first base. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't, I never never took to that one too well. Huh? I liked second base. That was a good one. Yeah. Lot, always a lot, a lot going on there. A lot of activity, right. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. played softball, soccer, and basketball all growing up. Wow. Mm-hmm. I was very busy. Yeah? Yeah, I give my parents a lot of credit. That was a lot of car rides back and Especially forth. Especially <laughs> with no, it, uh, your other sisters, too, where they were uh, athletic. Yeah, oh, yeah. My other sisters, you know, we, oh, gosh, there was everything between all of us. There was, you know, cheerleading, and then, like, that spilled into the competitive cheerleading era. Were you a cheerleader? There was soccer. Oh, I did cheerleading for a very small stint really? in my life. I was nine years old. Oh, that's it. And I, I played oh. soccer at see, the same time, thinking, so I really couldn't. Maybe to see you with your cheerleading outfit. Maybe you I, brought it with you or something. No, no, no oh. definitely not. At nine years old. That will no, just no, that be burned <laughs> yeah? forever. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, one of my sisters did tennis. Another one, did, it's just, you know, another one swam. So we pretty much did everything under the sun. Now, in ages, where do you rank? I'm third. So, oh, oh next to, next yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. So I'm, the yes. lower end. There's there two, I have two older, one younger. Right, right, right. So a little middle is what I like to call it. And uh, where do you rank as far as um, uh, who rules of the four years? Oh, you? me. Yes. Is that the true, best. Mom? Is that true? <laughs> I'm kidding. Is that true? Sometimes? My mom's saying sometimes. Yeah, no, um, I don't, we never really, it, we had an, an odd childhood, well, I guess you could time, say, because got, we didn't bicker a lot. I was just going to say that. that. Next thing you got to tell me she didn't fight, right? We did, Well, we did, but over stupid things. Did you take my shirt? Where's this? Why didn't you, you know, why didn't you ask before you borrowed that thing? So we didn't, we didn't really bicker a lot growing up, which no. I don't think many people can say. So we've, yeah, we've been okay. pretty close. And over the years, too, I think now that, because our, our younger sister is, it, it was the three of us older ones in high school and then the little one. So we were trying to, like, we were kind of on a different page for a while. Right. Just growing up, you well, know, well, being how, different how different ages. How much different in ages? Um, my younger sister is six years younger than me. And how about the older so, sister? So, and the older sisters are, like, two and three years older. So we were all pretty close. Right. Until um, the just youngest Just in age. One. And then the younger, right, because some things would just kind of go over her head, too, when she, right. we were growing yeah. up. And you were going. <laughs> so now that, well, now that, you know, she's, you know, been in college and we've all kind of moved on in our careers, in our lives, we've all kind of, you know, we're on, on the same page more. So we've gotten a lot closer. All right, what was the funnest thing you had happened since you've been on the road show? Not, ne- not necessarily happened with the road show, but okay. because of the road show. Um, oh, my gosh. That's hard. I do a lot of really cool things. I'm not gonna lie. I've done a, I've done a lot of really great things. I created this whole segment called Michaela Can, which, which is kind of like Dirty Jobs. Michaela. So I go out oh to yeah. These, like, different businesses. Yeah. So I was a firefighter for a day, and that one was I saw just that. awesome. Yeah. And it was on probably the hottest day of the year. <laughs> 80 degrees, all the gear on, the oxygen mask, pulling out one of those dummies that they use, which was like 250 pounds. I don't even know how I did it. 
that was really cool, but nothing beats the Harlem Globetrotters. I got yeah. to play with them. They challenged me to take this shot from pretty much half court, and I got it in. On the first try? Yeah, and I think I blacked out for a minute because I don't remember actually seeing it go in the net. I remember oh, just like Oh, the editing. Throwing comes into it up. Play. I remember throwing it right? up in the air and crossing my fingers and thinking, please just hit something, not an air ball. Not an air ball. Right. And then I don't know. The everyone cheered and I kinda went nuts. Like Am I dreaming? Did that really happen? But that was definitely a highlight. It did go in? Yeah. It yeah. went in. I have proof. I have video of that shot because I don't think anyone would believe me. And it was just one try. It was one try. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And I'm I'm taking the bet like yeah okay I'm never gonna. Now was this, this. at Providence when they were yeah, in Providence? Yeah yeah uh, that was when they were in Providence and that was uh, well shortly after I I got the gig so you know I think it was like March of 2011. Wow. Yeah, one of wow. the first things I was I was able to do. Plus I had played basketball all growing right, up right. and in college and stuff too, so I kind of had that tie. So that was definitely. Now speaking of college, where'd you go to school? I went to Bridgewater State. Oh, and yeah. you majored in communication. Oh, there you go. Hence there you why go. There's I a, am there's in the a field that I am. Well, that's not entirely true, though. I know a lot of people that. Well, look at look at uh, go all the way back to uh, Johnny Carson. He was a magician. That's true. He always took out his uh, yeah genie hat, right, and he would hold up the letters. Up to it? Yes, yes. But everybody like uh, doesn't necessarily come. You know, a lot of people come from, uh, like I majored in political studies mm -hmm. in college. And I we always have those facts, too. So you, you're, you kind of apply it in your what everyday you life. Facts? You're always spewing facts out when I'm here. Oh. <laughs> I like it, though. I feel, like, I feel like I spend an hour with Bob, and I also get, like, a history lesson at the same time. My schooling continues. Your schooling continues. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know where the oldest uh, Baptist church is in Rhode Island, right? Oh my gosh. It's in downtown Providence. It's when you come down College Hill, right in front of you there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The oldest synagogue in Rhode Island is in Newport. See? This is what I'm talking about. Do you see what I mean? The, the longest continuous running um, grocery store or, or uh, country store uh -huh. is, is in um, Didn't it Chepatcha. just didn't it just close No, th that? that I don't understand that because I, I know what you're talking about. That was in right. Tivenin or something, right? Oh, okay. Because weren't they claiming that they were the oldest? They were claiming they were. All right. But uh, I believe the fact is that the, the one in um, um, Chapachet is the oldest continu okay. continually running store in, in the country. Since that's, when? That's since, what I understand. Since what year? Oh, it was in the 1800s, 1868 or something like that. I know it was over 100 years old. Wow. So, yeah. I'll have to pay to visit. Yeah, you, cool. that's right. That's right. Very exactly cool. Right. That's, that's I see a story idea. Well, have you have you have, have you turning. have you been to any? The, the, there are two hatcheries in Rhode Island, fish hatcheries. Do you know yeah. that? I don't think I did know that. No. I don't think I've been to one. I've been to a fish hatchery, which is funny that you say that, but it was in upstate New York. Oh, really? But what I've town? never what been town? to one here. What town in upstate New York? Oh gosh, it was in uh, Old Forge, up near uh, Little Moose Lake. Little that's in the Finger Lakes. Yeah. It was it was very very tiny fish hatchery. Yeah. I didn't know what I was walking into at first. There's one in Palmer, Mass, right off the exit eight on the Mass Pike. Okay. A fish hatchery there that I've been to. That's a lot closer than upstate New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's one in Perryville, Rhode Island. Wow. Do you know what Perryville, Rhode Island is? Oh my gosh, this is like I feel like I'm, am I on a quiz show? No. Oh, I'm sorry. you brought it up. Camera. You started me. I was <laughs> I didn't even have any notes that said anything about. Uh, okay. But, but I didn't write fish hatchery on that. You, you, you didn't, huh? No. How has how the show changed in the last year? Oh, a lot's changed. We changed times, so now we're oh, yeah, now on you, it's easier, at 8 a.m. Right? We're on at 9 a.m. Yeah, that's easier. It's right a little here, right? easier, yep. Uh, we're changed stations, so we went from Fox to WPRI 12. Right. We totally changed our crew. Uh, now it's myself, Will Gilbert, Mary Larson, and we're all able to just kind of like go out. Oh, and, and Corey, too. <laughs> Right here. He's the camera. He's a great addition. Um, but no, now we're we have three people that are strictly roadshow. Right. So we can all go out and find stories and be in the community even more. Because in the past we would have, you know, the two news anchors, the two morning news anchors, right. the two of the hosts. So they had to Patrick be there Little, for the yep. news. Um, and so myself, I was pretty much the only one who could go out on shoots later on just because I had the time for it. That was my schedule during the day. They had been there since like four in the morning. So now it's a, it's a lot easier. I think we're a lot more involved in the community and in the state now that we have three people that are so committed to the show. 
Yeah, how would you like to have to get up like Patrick Little, start a show, his job? At oh, he's doing a great job, morning. Pat. Please oh, don't ever good. call me good. to yeah. sub for you. Yeah, no, anyway. huh? Can you imagine? No, no. I cannot. Because he, he <laughs> I has think to, I would just stay up and. Yeah, just, of course, because he, he has to get up at what two? To, to yeah. be there for four thirty. Oh yeah, that whole crew. I mean, one, one o'clock in the, the morning. The thing is, or to him and, and and Danielle North and Michelle Muscatello, they're on camera, so they have to be camera ready by that right. point in time. But all the producers and everything, they're there since two in the morning too, because they got to get the show all ready. Speaking of Michelle Muscatello, mm -hmm. there's not a woman in on TV, and I say this, it's a different category than you, that has had children that looks that as looks good as so that one good. is good. What is she her is secret? She is phenomenal. That I'm like not going to be one of those people. I know so many people that it looks like, you know, even when they they have kids or they're pregnant, it looks like them and a baby. I'm going to be one of those people who's like, who is that? She doesn't even look like herself anymore. Gained weight all over oh the place. Oh my God! I see her pushing she the car. Awesome. I, well, obviously I've had her on the show before, but she amazes me. I see her in the in the morning. She always dresses perfect in the morning. You know, a lot of people just don't, don't get I, it early in the morning. But she's on. I give her on so the much number. credit. I have zero kids, and I struggle in the she morning. She got two sometimes. kids. <laughs> I see her pushing the carriage in the in the, um, in the Federal Hill Parade. Oh, okay, yeah. In the Columbus Day Parade, I went over to her and. Um, I said, and I give her a hug and a kiss, kiss on the cheek, and I said, you are amazing. This mm -hmm. girl, she's pushing the carriage. She's got two kids. She does it all. She really does. She's a great family. And, and But, I mean, to look at her, you see that you, you never believed that this woman has had two children. No. Definitely not. I said, well, who's the surrogate? That's what I want. <laughs> I said, you had to have somebody else carry she's the She's had kid. them. I but, can Yeah, well, I do know does. that. But I mean, it, it just amazes me every time I see that woman in the morning. And then now, she's got two kids, and she's got to get up, like, one in the morning yeah, or something. Yeah, it's... Probably already up with the kids or something. Yeah, I know, and I don't know how, how, did they, how, how did I deal with that, especially when the kids go to get. Uh, I think one of them's old enough school age, right? One of them's uh, school age. No, not yet. Not yet. Not five, yet. Must four or five, right? Well, anyway, when they are school age, how's she going to deal with that? You're asking me questions that I don't want to think about till later on yes, in life. Yes. <laughs> Let me enjoy these years, and then I'll worry about. I, I know one. I had Frank Coletta on here one time, and. Um, he goes, he was going to bed at 6 o'clock at night or 6.30 at night. How do you do that when you get children? Well, apparently, I mean, when you wake up at 2 in the morning, I guess 6 at night is, is normal bedtime. I know that, but uh, if you get a family you got to deal with. Uh, you get, he must have a heck of a wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, it's, it's that must be. be the secret. And I see that with Michelle, and I go, I, you know, that's got to be tough on, mm -hmm. the, on the family to deal she's with. She's got that. a heck of a husband. Yeah. And, and Patrick's made the transition. Uh, mm -hmm. Done a phenomenal job. They're, they're from all a sports guy. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, our morning news team is phenomenal right yeah. now. They're yeah. doing a great job. I, yeah, I couldn't be prouder. They're they're great to work with. They're great to be around. And yeah. So they're say, nice to start your morning off with. Yeah, and now it's earlier, uh, four yes. thirty in the morning. That that's crazy. It is. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Makes now we had you had one of the people, one of the search people was in the top twenty from that's been you know worked on this show before. Who was it? Jamie. Yes, Jamie Little Liberty. Yep. Yep. I was rooting for. Her. I was rooting for. Her. She's I'm sorry. Nice I was rooting for. Her. I'm sorry. Well, now you're going to have to pick a new favorite out of our top five. Out of top five. You don't have to do it right now. I'm just saying in general, you'll have to pick one before we announce. All right. And you can write it down on a piece of paper and then show us if you were right or not. All right. Well, uh, we've done well here over the years with people coming on here, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully it, it, it rubs off on you, too, because <laughs> I just, well, just recently, last two two or three months, mm -hmm. a, a girl that was previously on this show, she's now on the weekend, uh, doing the weekend weather on the Today Show. Wow. And do you know who I'm talking about? The weekend weather on the yeah, Today the, Show? Yeah, on the Today Show. She got the job, what, two months ago, Corey? Who is it? Two, two or three months ago? Huh? Dylan who Dreyer. Is? Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I knew she was on the show. And well, then I'm hoping to have the same success. And, and before that, her friend came on here, and that's how come she came on here, because her friend came on here, and then she said, well, I want to come on there, and she came on. Uh, it was, um, what's her name? Help me out. Catherine Tappen. Catherine Tappen. I know, Catherine Tappen, yep. Cat, we, I did a show with Catherine Tappen on the, sec, on the second deck, second floor deck down at uh, Table 28. Was it? Yeah, table 28. Wow. They closed it off, and this mm -hmm. was during a, a Friday night or a Saturday night, or well, one night anyway, and uh, they served us upstairs <laughs> there, and it would look like a date on the sunset and the whole nine yards, and then she gets Great. picked up by uh, Nesson, right? Yeah, but now she's doing... Uh, the Golf Channel or hockey? No, no hockey. she's still with hockey. 
but she's just doing hockey. Because her husband's ho a hockey player. Oh my gosh, I am blanking, and this is my forte, and I can't believe ESPN? that I can't. No, not ESPN. No, 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 no. She changed it now. She's NHL Network. There you go. Yes. Now she's yeah. NHL Network. Yeah, because her husband's a hockey player. Yeah. That yeah. must be a lot juggling those schedules, too. Yes. Well, back in the day when she was on the show, she was dating or she was friendly with um, Nick uh, Marcakis of the Baltimore Orioles. So she loves the athletes. Oh, I yeah. I can't blame her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although there are some Marines here oh, today, yeah, you got though, some, too, oh, yeah, so that's yeah, stiff yeah. competition to now, what, is, what is it, yeah, I know, what is it with women, we're getting off the subject, what is okay. it with women with uniforms? Tell me, help me out here. Cops, firemen. I think, they, I think maybe because most guys just hang out in, like, And look sloppy, comfy, you mean? I'm not saying sloppy. But you are meaning it. I'm just saying uniforms are a little more fitted. Right. So you can kind of yeah, oh, you see, see what you're You see where you're getting. With. Yeah. Oh, really? That's oh, what so I'm you're thinking. saying that women are as vain as guys are then? Are you, is that what you're saying? I didn't say that. Those, you're but th that's what you mean. words in my mouth. That's what you mean. I'm, I'm, I'm not one to say, <laughs> hey, you're in a uniform. I like you. You look a lot better. I'm just saying it is very fitted. They look nice and put together. So maybe that then becomes just more attractive. Really? Women. All right. So you're a single girl, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you're out with your girlfriends, yep. when you look over and you look at a guy, do you look at him? Because he's in a uniform, more 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 than likely than uh, look at another guy that's just in. Uh, I don't really I don't really go to places where there's like half the men in uniform and half the men in regular no? clothes. They're usually just all in all regular uniform. clothes. No, they're just all <laughs> regular. No, yeah, I hang out in a uh, baseball dugout and <laughs> at U S O U S O. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just I I don't know. Yeah. I I, I don't know. Uh, what's your type of guy? My, <laughs> hmm, I prefer a guy who likes long walks on the beach. No, no. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I like someone who's athletic. I yep. like someone that is a family person. I feel like I'm, like, making a dating video right now, right. and I don't want to do ahead. that. Um, you told me to ask anything. I told you that. I know, and I, I am mm, putting my foot in my yeah, mouth yeah. because of that. Uh, no, I like someone that's athletic who has – you know, a drive because right. I'm a very driven person. I like someone who likes their family, treats me well, treats my family well. Well, how do you know that when you first meet the person? Uh, well, I'm, you got to get to know them. Yeah. What do you mean, right off the bat? Yeah. Nice eyes. That's good. Nice eyes. Nice teeth too. Nice teeth. Nice yeah. Teeth, none nice. of this like Austin Powers kind of like messed up. Really? Stuff. Yeah. And what color eyes? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, as long as you got them. Yeah. As long as they're both there. I don't date pirates with scraggly teeth. How about... Um, and an eye patch. Affairs. What's that, what's that name of that show there? Um, um, something Affairs. It's on... Um, Covert Affairs. Covert Affairs. Yes. Like... like, uh, like well, how about uh, the, the guy that, uh, that she's always, like, funning with there? The... Isn't he blind, right? That one? In that, well, in actually, the other guy yeah. is. Yeah, the other guy is. But I wasn't thinking of him. I was, I I was, I thinking of him. the whole, was, like, eye thing? Yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. But I wasn't thinking of him. I was thinking of um, the, the, the guy, the other, uh, the Mossad uh, um, spy there. Oh, yes. Okay, her friend that helps her out a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they have a little thing going. He's there. attractive. They, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Uh, so, dark I, guys. I find a, a wide variety of men attractive. <laughs> A wide variety. Yeah, why not? A wide variety. You got to keep your options open, right, ladies? Right, mom? Is that right? Right, mom. <laughs> My mom. Uh, now, your like descent is what? I'll get off. I'll get you out of it. Right I'll get now. you out of it. Okay. You're Portuguese and what else? Uh, go ahead. Why don't you tell me? You already guessed Portuguese. French. Yep. Irish. Yeah. One more. Is that an obscure one or is it a legit one? A it's common legitimate. one. Is it a common one? I mean, a common one. Or I is made it a, up a nationality. Come on. Is it, it's not nationality, by the way. It's ancestry. Um, ancestry. Thank you. Uh, it's it's not overly popular. Swedish. Yes. What the heck? Bob, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's my makeup. Really? Yeah, I'm a mutt. Oh, that's good. Mutts are usually the best. That, thank you very mixed. much. It really is true. Same are thing you a mix? Yeah, yeah. That's why you said it. No, no, that is not <laughs> why I said it. Absolutely not why I said it. So what's your combination? Oh, just Joey, no. English? Irish? You won out of two now. Which one? Oh, I didn't. Irish? Irish, yeah. And? That's a small pot, though. That's only a little bit. Okay. That's a quarter. Uh, Dutch? 
though? I don't know. Italian? My last name is Venturini. I know. That's why Hello. I said it. Hello. Yes. But is, are you just two? No, three. More. I, I, Italian half. Irish. A quarter Italian, Irish, a quarter. And a quarter of... You're the quarter of it, too. Portuguese? No. French. Yep. Yep. Sometimes it's hard to tell, though, when you look at people. Because really? Because everything just mixes together. And how come I picked you? I don't know. You got And I gift. didn't look it up. You I, got I, a I gift. I didn't look it up. Huh? You have a gift. I, I can usually pick out what people mm -hmm. are, unless it's got some weird, you know, some... Well, it doesn't help that my mom's sitting right over here, and she's like, she's got the Portuguese features. I, so I'm I sure you looked at her. I didn't, yeah. I, I didn't see that. How do I know she's, she's Portuguese? She's like a big freckle. <laughs> yeah? I mean, she didn't come in with any soup or nothing. Uh, how do I know she's Portuguese? <laughs> she can bring you some kale soup No kale time. soup! Like, come on. She makes I, My awesome ex-wife was Portuguese, and, and mm -hmm. her mother, I used to bust her up all the time. I go, oh, we're, we're, uh, we're going to raffle off that piece of sausage, uh, the piece of Cherise to Sunday again. You got to say Cherise. Cherise. We're yeah. going to raffle off that one piece of Cherise. You got that pan <laughs> this Sunday, because we'd have the soup all week. And then on Sunday, they'd have the one piece of uh, uh, Cherise, and they'd mm -hmm. raffle it off. For the, you know, they didn't raffle it. They had, we'd guess a number or something. Uh -huh. That's how you got the, the one piece kale of meat. Kale soup is soup. delicious. It is My good. grandmother makes phenomenal kale yeah? soup. Have, yep. you ever been to, have you been to Portugal? No. Have you I'd been like to the to. Azores? No. I've been to the Azores. I would love to travel and see more of Europe. You should. Traveling is the best okay. education, and it's also uh, great Or fun. coming here. Or coming here. Highly debatable. Oh, there, oh, there you go. There, yeah, that's good. Yeah, of course. No, but traveling is great. In fact, are, are you a friend? A friend? Are you? Are you a fan of am the I Amazing a friend? Race? I, I am. Are you? Are you a I fan love of the, the Amazing, amazing race, race? My favorite show yeah. on TV. I've had the winners on here. My, yeah, uh, uh, the Barrington the Boys. The winners, yes. Well, yes. one of the one of them. The other one was in Atlanta at the time. Mm -hmm. And I had the, the two off cops on. Mike and Louie. Yeah, they've been, they've on, been on the road times. show a couple times as well. Yeah, I know you're copying me again. Anyway, <laughs> the, they had. Uh, I was invited on the Amazing Race. Really? They had called me, and I thought somebody was just playing a game on me. So How, uh, When was this? Was, Years ago? This was um, when I had the boys on, on the okay. show, right after I got a call from okay. some guy claiming to be from The Amazing Race. And I thought was he was just... Was that a crank call? I thought it was a crank call. So I didn't do anything about it for a couple of months. Then I ran into Louie, and I mentioned it to Louie, and uh, he said, oh, you got the number? I said, actually, I do. I, I have it on my phone. So I give him the number, and I told him the guy's name. Mm -hmm. And him and Mike made some calls or whatever. They come back to me and said, nah, nobody, nobody, none of our people, the people we talked to know anything about this. Name didn't sound for me, the, the phone number was nothing. Months later, I'm in the hospital having my knee operated on. And I happen to be calling somebody who begins with an A, and I see, oh, amazing race. So I dial it. The guy goes, uh, about time you get back to me. <gasps> wow. And um, obviously, I, I wasn't going on the amazing race. Mm -hmm. And besides the fact that I'd already missed it, he had said, that, well, we just had sent the people off to do the Amazing Race. Right. This was last year's Now, race. who would you bring with you? Who was know. like your partner along you. the way? I would have brought you. Okay. Well, that, you know, something, that would have been a good pick, actually. Right? Not somebody younger, somebody uh, uh, athletic. You know what amazes me? And I don't though? have any, like, allergies to weird foods. I'll pretty much eat it because I just yeah. to eat something weird. But you know what's stupid? Why do you go on that race if you're afraid of water? Or, if you're <laughs> or height? Uh, height. I mean, that's a killer. It, it, there's always one couple, one team. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, folks, they have 11 teams to start that race, and it could be two guys, two girls. They always try to put some weird combinations in there. They always have yep. two or three gay guys in there, mm -hmm. a, a lesbian woman. They always have a, a, a this like color, that Like an ex-wife, an ex-husband. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Weird. A, yeah. A broke up, made up again, mm -hmm. gone together. Uh, 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 all Protestant, kinds of crazy, yeah. free spirit, uh, uh, <laughs> real religious. I mean, all kinds of real. I guess it, it makes uh -huh. for good television, of course. Oh right? yeah. But well, what kills money. me is yeah. What kills me is when they get to the point where they they got to repel or mm -hmm. or they got to do a, um, a bungee jump or something, and, and somebody sits there crying. They won't go on. I, I remember one race. The guy was in the lead with his girlfriend, and she wouldn't go down the slide, which which I've been on by the mm -hmm. way, in um, the Bahamas. In Atlantis, in the Bahamas, really? you know the big slide that yeah. they have there. She wouldn't the go on the, the slide. The one through the shark tank. She would, yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. She wouldn't go on the slide. I said, I cannot believe this. What is he doing, taking this girl on this a race with him? It's, but you know what? People are driven by the prize money. 
Yeah, but and they don't know what yeah, is going to get know, thrown I mean, if you them. watch this at all, you know this I always. I completely agree. you got to be up for anything at and that point. The only thing I disagree with and I don't like, and uh, they, they, they've, they didn't do it this year. I guess they did do it this year, but it wasn't really bad. It's when they have eating things where you have to eat some certain stuff. Mm -hmm. That's when I think it gets overboard. Because I, it, either, it grosses me out. It's either they'll have you eat something disgusting. Right. Or they'll have you eat so much right. of something that you just can't finish it. Right. Right. Neither one I like. No. That, that's the same thing with that other show that used to be on. I used to like two parts Fear of that factor. show. Yeah, I used to like two. And he's from, I met him, Grogan. Yep. Uh, they, they have uh, two parts of that show I like. But when they got to that stuff, I mean, that just blew it for me because you know it's on like seven eight o'clock at night at the time yeah. and, you know sometimes you're eating late or something having a piece of pizza and they're, and, they're, they, <laughs> and there they go eating a bowl oh, of worms <laughs> oh man i mean just ridiculous still yeah terrible that's why the thing went off i think that's why they lost their rating maybe they just ran out of gross stuff to eat no maybe they should have too stayed many people away got sick <laughs> because think about it some people don't all eat at five o'clock at night six o'clock at night most people you're don't eat, yeah you're eating something and you got to look at this yeah uh even in blood pudding, anything, mm -hmm. you know, so, something uh, that looks, and that's not even gross. Yeah. But like when you go to these, um, um, uh, like Thailand or Taiwan or uh, uh, Burma or some of these other countries, you see them, they're cooking grasshoppers and they're right. cooking these, you know, that's Normal bad enough. Normal for them, but. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, but that's bad enough, but at least it's cooked. Yeah. When they, these people eating it raw. Oh, the bugs are still alive. Yeah, it's a big giant cockroaches. They're yeah. that big, and Ugh. they gotta chew on them. And oh man, even I don't want to talk about. That. Do you like um, Survivor? Yes. Yeah, I like exactly. that show too. Not as much as the Amazing Race, but I like Survivor. Which one would you rather be on? Amazing Race. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Survivor is an endurance thing, and, mm -hmm. and and then not only an endurance thing, but you have gotta be able to. Uh, if if you're too good, they'll get rid of you. Right. That's what I don't like about Survivor. And that's why I would do Amazing Race, too, because if you get voted off, it's your own fault. Right. Because, hey, you were the last team to show up, so you get voted off. With Survivor, it gets all personal. People vote you out just because, like you said, you're too good or you did something silly. And, and, and what's amazing to me about... And a lot of times about... the people that win Survivor are not the ones that should rightfully win exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to take with you uh, somebody that's going to be well-liked because right. they'll beat you in the end, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Because I thought last year that the guy Russell should have won because he was the most talented one. Me too. Every, I mean, everybody hated him, but he was but good. But he, he played was good. the game, and the fact that he was able to be so manipulative that whole time and everyone knew it and he still made it to the end, those people were better. Yeah, They're exactly, better. exactly. So they, they'd rather pick somebody that's not as good just because, mm -hmm. oh, he didn't make me mad, or he, he didn't lie <laughs> to me, or he was loyal. Yeah. Oh, guess what? They're supposed to lie to you, and they're supposed to be disloyal to you. That's the game. You. That is the game. It's right. not to be, oh, we're here all this together, and we, we made a commitment <laughs> early on, and we're going to do everything together, and we're not going to lie to each other. Mm -hmm. That's not the game. No. That's not part of the game. It would be one thing if it was the first season, and they didn't know how the game was played, and everyone right. was just kind of making it up. That show's been around now for like 58 seasons. Yeah. Well, you 20, should know. Seasons, I know. But I'm just saying, it's been on but for by a the really way, long and, time. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's purely by accident. We're talking about all CBS shows here, by the way. You notice that, right? Yeah. They are good. What's your favorite show on television? <sighs> is that? That's is either tough. one of them? The I like, Race is I like, my favorite show. But. I like The Big Bang Theory. Another CBS show. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang no, I don't, Theory. Like, I don't watch that. And I also I, like I, Two Broke Girls. Did you ever right. watch that one? No, I never watched that. I like that. the sitcoms. Or Modern Family. No, I know. Never either. Come on. No. That one is so good. Now, is that on? That's on uh... ABC. Oh, it is? Yep. Oh, what? No, that I'm... whole cast is good. That's what never I like seen about it. it. That, that one, like that one caught a lot of awards, though, didn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, a great I, show. I've never seen that show. I, I also like Criminal Minds. That's, I like that show. Good. We finally uh, agreed on one. All right, and I like. Well, I, say, I like shows that you got to think on. You know? Yeah. I, and I like. Um, uh, it's on Thursday night at ten o'clock. Um, Person of interest. Mm -hmm. oh, that's on nine o'clock Thursday night, isn't? Uh, the <laughs> other ones on Thursday, which I also like. Thursday night's a good. Sunday night's a good night on TV. Yeah. I, I like The Good Wife. Okay, I've heard very good things about that. I like show. The Good Wife. I haven't caught it yet, though. Yeah. And I and I like. Well, Amazing Race, The Good Wife, and. Mm -hmm. um, Simon uh, Baker's on the other show there. Oh, The Mentalist? The Mentalist. I like that show. Because, again, he's smart. He, he, you know, he, Makes you he, think. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather have you know, shows like that than, than some of the other shows. Mm -hmm. so, I agree. So, so you like, but you like more of the, the funny stuff. I like a lot of the funny stuff. But like I said, Criminal Minds is, is, is a real 
good one because they don't always catch the killer and I kind of like that. Really? You know? They don't always, or they don't always like save the person. They're like, ah, right, she's right. about to die. Right, and you're right. like, okay, they're just going to save. Have you ever seen Elf? Elf? Elf, Alien Life Form. Yeah, like the show, like yeah. way back when? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's on again. I love that show. I Yeah, it's on the same channel that has like the Facts of Life and a bunch of other stuff I don't know like what channel that. it's on, but I, I tape it. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Facts of Life is on on some nights, too. Really? You watch that show, yeah. But Elf. Elf had one of the most amazing Christmas specials. I used to have specials. Elf slippers. Really? Yep. When I was younger. You put I, the slippers I got my on, son and on it Elf. had the Elf, like, sticking up from the foot. Oh, no. You remember those? Yes, remember yeah. you could have, like, Mickey Mouse or whatever? Mine, mine yep. had Elf on well, I had I had got my son an Elf um, um, stuffed animal back in the day. Mm-hmm. It'd be hard to find now, I think. Yeah. But, well, I don't know. Ebay. Now he's coming back out again. Uh and we get into, we're going to segue into the Christmas thing before, because uh, I'm going to ask you about Christmas. Before okay. we get into the Christmas thing, i got to, I got to tell you that um, Alf's Christmas, if you, and you will get to see that because Alf is on again, mm -hmm. it, one of the biggest tear jerkers I've ever seen. Really? Oh, Did my you God. Cry? That is, oh, I bawled my eyes out watching it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It makes me want to watch it now. Uh, oh, Alf's Christmas special is, is phenomenal. I mean, it isn't one of these sang, song and dance things. It's a, it's a story. It's a mm -hmm. show. A, a, a guy comes to his house. This guy that's a friend of uh, uh, Willie Tanner, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's the father's yep. name, the and uh, gives him the deed to his house. Oh, actually, give him an envelope. He told him, don't, don't open it until Christmas, and somehow mm -hmm. I figured it. Don't me. ruin the episode for me. No, I'm just going to okay. oh, I'm gonna lay it up for you. And I don't know how he opened it. Either Alf opened it or he opened mm -hmm. it, and it ended up being the deed to his property. And the guy was wondering with his wife, why, why is the guy giving me the deed to the property? And it ended up, uh, the guy had things he had to deal with and uh, wow. it was a real real tearjerker and Alf had snuck out and, and, and ended up in the back of the van he ended up being outside and the guy thought it was one of the stuffed animals he was delivering to kids at the hospital oh, segueing into our toys for tots mm -hmm. he was delivering to the hospital at Christmas time which is what some of the, I always I also do yeah and he he thought oh it must have fell out of the truck and he put it back in the panel truck and of course it was Alf. And then he went on, and he went and was doing something else. And Alf said, "What?" And he started talking. He's, you know, it was just great. I don't want to give you any more of it, but that was that I was. I will really, have to see that one. That I'll, was put really, on my, I'll put it on my Christmas movie list. Yes, it was. It was one of the best ones I've ever seen. All right, quickly, um, Christmas. I know Portuguese people are very big on Christmas. We're very big on Christmas. Just our whole family. Yep. Just and with, every, with all the we girls love, and yeah, because uh, everyone just comes together and we keep it simple though. We don't go totally overboard. Like we'll have a meal, we'll kale do the, soup. the present thing. No, we'll be kale uh, soup. Fish. Oh, like Christmas ham. Fish. Oh, I love ham. I, yeah. I prefer ham over chick over turkey. On I Christmas, like both actually. Yeah. I like both actually. Turkey on Thanksgiving. I like I like the ham around Christmas time. You ever been in a real Italian house Christmas Eve? No. They have the oh, like the seven seven fishes. fishes? Yeah. I've heard of that. Oh yeah, it's uh, gonna be a smelly big, house. Big food. Oh, big <laughs> food. Yeah. Oh, no, just yeah, just I'm not. I'm sure it's delicious. Oh yeah, not only the fishes, but you know, I don't like smelts. I I can't <laughs> handle the smelt stuff. But I like the oh, other fish. Oh yeah. But I like yeah. the, you know, the all the Italian food. You know, mm -hmm. the, the meatballs and the sausage and the veal. And well, the, I'm not Italian, but I feel like I am when it comes to my palate. Yeah. Because I love Italian food. <laughs> you like veal. Yeah. I can't stand a woman that doesn't like veal. I mean, I've dated oh. women that. If they don't like I veal, I'm, right I'm done. Answer. I'm done. I'm done with them. No, because I like, I like it. And I, mm -hmm. um, you go out with some. Oh, you know what you're eating. I don't like how it's made. You know what you're eating. But it tastes good. Well, oh, it's not made. It's, it's cut from. It's not made. I, I'm saying how it. I know. I know yeah. how it comes out. You know. You yeah. know. We don't even want to tell people how it is. Now this Save time of year. Google. That's right. Set this time of year, Christmas mm -hmm. time. What do you like to do? Are you an outdoor? You are you you, are, you strike me as an outdoor person. Yeah. Oh, I love the snow. I am you do. One, yeah, I love it. I don't care if I'm shoveling it or wiping it off my car. If you're if you live in New England and it's winter time and it's gonna be cold, I'd rather have it be cold with snow. Than right. Just plain cold, cold and right. raw. Right. 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 And everything. That's um, why it kills me when people say, "Oh, it's cold out today." It's November. It's supposed to be <laughs> cold out today. Right? Exactly. And, and by the way, forty degrees or thirty degrees is not cold. Mm-hmm. So, you so saying, no, around the, around this time of year, I just like to, gosh, I like to go skating, ice skating, um, and walking on the beach, right? Oh yeah, walking <laughs> on the beach, walking on the beach. No, but oh, with, yeah. the, with the holidays and stuff, I like to bake. We like to do like the cookies you can cook. and the pies. You can and, cook. Yeah, when she I, can cook. When Mom. I feel like it. She can cook. 
Wow. I learned Smart, from the best. Smart, attractive, and she can cook. I learned from Not the best. Not bad, huh? Yeah? Jack of all trades. Yeah? <laughs> now, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Australia. Man. Does that mean I get a free trip there? No, not really. We could work it out now. Okay. Uh, no, <laughs> Australia, yeah, that's one of the places. I, that's I, the only continent I have not been to other than, of course, Antarctica. Really? Wow. Yes. That's impressive that you've yeah. been to all the other ones. No, I've just always, I've always liked Australia. I would have wanted to study abroad there, but I, right. I couldn't. Um, but I studied yeah. abroad once. Yeah? Yeah. What was her name? <laughs> you, you got it. I didn't think you got it. All right. Yes. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Well, listen, I'm going to have to let you go. You can't spend a full hour with Bob. I I'm gave you sorry. already more time than I give most people. I, I am you know very that, right? happy about that. Yes, thank you very much for having me. Yes. Always a pleasure, Bob. I'm, I'm glad you were able to come. And I'm going to have to have you back, when, and you have to bring in your new... Oh, I will. I'll find... I'm going to have mm -hmm. to... I'll, you give me a little homework. I'm going to have to look at the five fi yep. finalists or semi-finalists. I want you, want you to call. write down that name. And I got to pick, yeah, I'll pick a name. Remind me, Corey. I got to pick one of the five and fold it up. And then we'll pull the, uh, what, what, what was his name? I forget his name now. And on, the, on uh, Johnny Carson show. What the heck, what the heck is his name? Anybody? When, I mean, he, was, when he had the hat on? Yeah, yeah. What was Cognac. the name? Con I knew John would have it. What? Cognac. The Cognac. Cognac. I think it was Cognac. Or something like that, <laughs> but it wasn't Cognac. Cognac. Yeah, you sound like a liquor. Huh? Cognac. Is it? Karnak. Karnak. Yeah, Karnak. yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I you got thinking, it. I don't really. That doesn't sound Karnak. right. Karnak. No, that's right. Karnak's okay. right. Not Cognac, though. But Karnak. yeah, you have to get one of those huge hats. Yeah, the big hats. Uh, uh, and then hold it up. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll come up with some. Yeah, we'll do okay. that. John, we got to get one of those hats. All right. Give us a clue. Or, or give us a, a clip. Give us something. And we'll get rid of Michaela Johnson, <laughs> and we'll get back. Look at this. It looks like a, it looks like a real big TV set. Look at this. It is. Well, folks, we're back on an hour with Bob, and I got to tell you right off the bat, uh, after six billion dollars spent on political campaign, six billion dollars, folks, we have the same president, basically the same Congress, same Senate, same House of Representatives, with. Maybe three changes in, in each, or two, cha I think two Senate changes and three rep changes, something like that. Uh, Six billion dollars spent. The big winners were the media. The media, or was the media. The big winners were the radio, newspaper, uh, TV. Uh, they made all the money. Well, get us back. Hey, hey, you got the president. The president's in the house, folks. And also with us, the few, the proud, the Marines. Michael, how you doing? Good, sir. Staff Sergeant Michael Kremen, and who we got here? Oh, Kevin? Uh, Lance Corporal Kevin Singleton. Lance Corporal Rivera. Rivera, and you've Rivera. been back. You're, back. You're, you're not a rookie. You've been with me before on the Toys for I Tots, have, right? I have been. And we're, we're here tonight to talk about the Toys for Tots at the yes, Warwick sir. Mall. Yes, sir. My 19th season of doing the yes, Toys sir. for Tots. Mm -hmm. On the 11th, right? On the 11th of December to Tuesday night, 5 to 9 p.m., at the Warwick Mall, right in the food court. In fact, I'm going down there tomorrow to set up if we're gonna, what angle we're going to have, and hopefully we'll do what we did last year. You weren't here last year. We I wasn't here last year. You were out of town. Yeah. Weren't you out of town? I was. I was. You were out of the we country, were, we were actually. Keep, we were keeping busy. You were, yeah, you were keeping busy. Yeah. busy. right. Yeah. Well, it's glad to have you. We're glad to have you back. It's great I, to be I, back. I missed you last year. But it was uh, uh, not the same without you. Let's put it that way. I mean, you, you, one of the best ones I have, not the best one I've had over, over 19 years. The best uh, uh, liaison with the Marines, with you guys. Well, I got it easy. I mean, I got I got a good wife. It's her birthday today, Carol. Oh, it is. Yep, yep 27 today. Wow. But, um, you know, so I don't have any kids. So I mean, Carol kind of enjoys it as well. So she right, throws, yeah, she, yeah, she was great. Into she was the, great. Uh, but you still had to travel from Boston down to Newport, back to Providence, yeah. to Batuck. I mean, Warwick. I mean, that was crazy. It was a labor of love. You know, I mean, all you have to do is think about who it's for. Right, exactly. You know, I mean, don't get tied up in the politics of it. And I don't worry about, you know, my superiors so much or <laughs> what's going on all over the place or, you know what I mean? Just take care of the Marines and take care, and they'll take care of the kids. And right, that's pretty right. much all it is. And you're pretty you know? short-handed this year, though, as far as we, volunteer we are, Marines, are, right? Yeah, we are. I mean, a group just got back from Afghanistan. Um, they're off orders now. Um, we're actually sending more Marines to Afghanistan pretty soon. And uh, with the, uh, the, the hurricane... Sandy that just right. Um, our battalion's down in um, New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. 
So we're going to be mobilizing Marines and taking vehicles and sending everything down that way. So I'm not going to have a lot of Marines or vehicles. But, wow. you know, like always, I mean, every year it's like, oh, no, we don't have enough toys. Or, right. You know, you know, it's, it's just it's not going to happen. And it always comes together in the end. I mean, uh, organized. Kind of like this show. Yeah. Organized <laughs> chaos. Organized, <laughs> organized chaos. Yeah, chaos. People definitely. Go, sir, people yeah. say it all the time. <laughs> they come on this show and they go, they're looking at yeah. why they're waiting. They're mm -hmm. setting up and we're. Get, trying to get camera angles, lights fixed, and everything else, and no, it always seems to come together. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, again, once again this year, you can uh, drop off a toy either at Cello's, there's nine or ten Cello's restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, Mozzarella's restaurants. Navigate Credit Union. Navigate Credit Union. We have yep. uh, ten Navigate Credit Union's mm -hmm. on board this mm -hmm. year, which is great, and they, they were on board last year. Uh, Bolton Insurance in, on Warwick, right on Post Road. Hooters on Airport Road. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Don Rodriguez just off of Airport Road. Don Rod Rodriguez yep. Karate. He's been with me since almost the beginning. And every year, he he costs him a lot of money. What he does is he has this event, and instead of paying the the uh, entrance fee, or you bring a toy, mm -hmm. so he loses ten bucks for everybody who brings a toy. And some people bring a five dollar toy. It costs him, you know, he loses all that money anyway. Mm -hmm. But you know, he encourages them to bring good toys. And the West Warwick JCs and the um, uh, uh, the Kent County JCs and, and the, even um, the mall themselves. I mean, you can drop off at the mall. At the mall, I the Warwick Mall itself. You know, of I, and you can drop off toys pretty much anywhere all over the state. Just go onto the website. You know, plug in your your the zip code. Website is it's just at toy www.toysfortots.org. Right. You know, click on the state, Rhode Island. Click on the city, Providence, and it'll bring you to my page. And basically, you know, don't you want to donate online? You want to request toys online as a family or as a nonprofit group? We do both. Um, you can also um, volunteer online. Right. Um, and I, that all comes straight into me. But what I was talking about is you can either register to be a drop site right. and say, hey, can I get a box? And, uh, you know, either we'll send Marines down to drop off a box and pick it up from you. Right. Or, or people can bring it to the Warwick Mall. Exactly. So, I mean, and... Which is cool. They get to come on stage if they, if they bring yeah, a lot yeah. of toys. We always have a good time. We have fun yeah. on stage with yeah. you and you guys and me. Yeah. And uh, we, we have entertainment. Everybody Robert has Black, and he'll, he's got a, a group of entertainers that will be performing mm -hmm. that night, you know, uh, between little segments when, you know, I can take a little two-minute break, a three-minute oh, yeah. break. Yeah. And, um, we have some great entertainers. We've always had mm -hmm. some good entertainers down. In fact, um, uh, Erica Van Pelt, who was in the um, American Idol, right? She was in the top ten in the American Idol. She's yeah. performed on on uh, a couple times, a couple of years. She's and done. you know what? I think she's actually doing one of the events for Toys for Tots this year. Is she? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think she's gonna. I, I'm not positive, but uh, the the um, the comments down South County comments. Uh, I'm well, pretty I think sure she's, she's doing an show too. That's what of I'm. Of course. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully she she'll, she'll be there uh, at the Warwick Mall on, mm -hmm. on the 11th of December, that's 5 right. to 9 p.m. And new unwrapped toy. Now, tell us why that's important. Well, it's, number one, if it's wrapped, we have to unwrap it. You don't because, know what it is. Yeah, because if it's we wrapped, can't, you, we you can't, can't tell if it's a boy or a girl. Exactly. How old it is, you know what right, I mean? Right. Is it for a zero to two-year-old? Is it for a 15-year-old? So we like to keep it unwrapped. Plus, you know, there, there's always an element out there that people like to make jokes. And uh, you don't want to be the, the Marine that hands somebody else a toy, and it's not really a toy. It's a joke or something like that. So, oh, God. So, so that's another reason. And, um, and the other thing is... You don't want used toys. No, no. Because no. years ago they used to accept used toys, yes. but that's bad because mm -hmm. some somebody will uh, turn in a toy that's got a broken wheel on it or something like that, or you know mm -hmm. that's not right. And also, but, I I find something that I don't mm -hmm. think is I don't know whether you what you guys think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I prefer not to have stuffed animals because mm -hmm. you don't know if the stuffed animal is new. Or yeah, or if it's sitting been sitting in a warehouse. Yeah. I mean, we we on somebody's we do, house. I mean, build build a bear. Like they're they're huge with us, and they they'll give us stuffed animals. But that's I mean, different. They're always nice, clean that's in different. a box. I mean, right. That's we different. we do get a lot of stuffed animals, and we tell the families if you'd like one, you know, you're welcome to take one. But I mean, hey, wash it before you give it to the child. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that that's kind of common sense. But I mean, you know, a lot of people don't think of that. Yeah. Definitely. But a lot not. of people don't but think about yeah. washing a stuffed yeah. animal either. Yeah. But or, I mean, or think that it would look good after you wash the stuffed animal. Well, that's why we do new toys because if right. it's a used toy, you never know where it's been, what it's right. been exposed to. Right. And once again, the Marines definitely don't want to be known for handed out tainted toys. Is, is Plus, what we call for them. a kid, who the heck yeah. wants? What kid wants to get a used toy? I got some great hand-me-down toys when I was a kid, though. Yeah. Let's be honest. I, got I told you why stuff. I started. My yeah. first yeah. toy was mm -hmm. my brother's old sneakers. Yeah. That was my first Christmas yeah. after my dad died, yeah. and my seventh. Yeah, that's how I. That's why I got involved in Toys for Tots, guys. That's there. There is a lot of people that uh, are involved with Toys and Tots, Toys for Tots. Excuse me, because um, at one time they received from Toys for Tots, 
And with the way well, that's huge. you know the economy is going at the moment, and you know people are losing jobs, gaining jobs. You know there are people that gave toys last year that need toys this year, and ha kind of cycle back and forth. So I mean, it's uh, the best thing about Toys for Tots is that you never know who those toys are going to. They could be going to your next door neighbor, exactly. but they will be going to somebody in Rhode Island. I can that's right, that and that, that's yes. important to me. Yes. And that's, I've always stressed that for years yeah. and years. I'll collect all your toys you want, mm -hmm. but they better. I hope they stay here, as many, yeah, and, unless and, uh, they can't. And on that whole collecting of toys things that you've been doing for 18 going on 19 years, uh, Marines gave got a little T-shirt for you. Right? <laughs> You well, know, that's just for so, the T-shirt. That's mean, a, a, I mean, a polo shirt. Yeah, everybody knows that you know you're doing toys for tots, but I mean, you know, you should walk around in official gear now. Well, so. thank you. So there thank you go, you. sir. That's nice, huh? Look at that, huh? Who's got that? Who's got that? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> the official toys for tots. That goes with my because I have I have uh, in in past. Well, it's mine kind of worn out now, so that's good. I got a new one. I got the other one was a. Uh, um, uh, turtleneck. And mm -hmm. um, we'll get you some unit shirts too, so we'll, we'll get some of those. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Know, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited this year. Yeah. And especially right here in Pawtucket because. Yeah, that's the, right. Yeah, it's set up right here. Yeah, right, right here in Pawtucket, the uh, the um, redevelopment planning agency. Right. 175 Main no, Street. No, 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 oh, That's no, not no, the address? No, no, I'm not telling anybody what the address is. Oh, oh okay. Not oh, that's the other address. Yes. All right, yeah. Yes. That, yeah. Oh, that's the other right. But anyway, they gave us a building, and yep. uh, it's it's a lovely, nice, warm indoor office area. Um, so it's it's great. Um, also, the Paw Sox are getting on board with us. Good. You know, Good. you yourself are Pawtucket. Um, a lot of the businesses in Pawtucket are getting involved. Right. So um, you know, and I, I've got a couple of things lined up that I, I really can't talk about now. But it looks like Pawtucket is going to be a model for Good. for everybody Good. else to follow. Well, thank and God it, because I, like I finally gave the mayor his plaque from last year because I had okay. it in my trunk. I've had it in my trunk for months. I have plaques made up for mm -hmm. everybody yeah. that donates to the Toys for Tots. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? Be, and but I got to say this. my job. You know that. Before I forget. Yeah. Before yeah. I forget. I, but I've been, I've done it forever. Mm -hmm. I, I make, have plaques made from um, mm -hmm. Joe, uh, uh, Joe Filippi over at Rainbow Creations. Okay. He gives me a real good break. And I have like 40 plaques made for all these people that donate to the Toys okay. for Tots. And uh, first safety company, Ken Duffy, has been like one of the biggest contributors to Toys for Tots, big stuff too. Uh, uh, outstanding. The Outst car seats, uh, outstanding. I mean, yeah, it's, some of those car seats yeah, are ridiculously it, it, expensive. Yeah, the, the, the air Who's ride the car seats. The and, air, and, can you imagine, yeah. uh, air, air ride car seats. It's yeah. like, I, what, mm -hmm. they got power windows in it? I mean, they I, got everything else but power windows. I, yeah, I mean, I, I looked at the box and I, you know, we, it, it's hard to give out the toys, the, the, the car seats at first until you really think about it. And then when you have somebody come in with a zero to, what actually happened, I'll tell you a story, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, one of these uh, families came in and they were, they were looking for some toys and we, we gave them toys. She had a couple kids, so there, there was some toys to carry out. So we helped her carry them to her vehicle. Right. And she had a newborn. She was holding, you know, the newborn. I think the baby was one, one, uh, almost two. And, um, I, you know, I Don't opened the car. Don't tell me you have a car seat. No, they had a car seat. It just wasn't a very good one. Right. And I mean, you know, th there's a lot of cheap stuff made out there these days. Right. So I said, right. hey, hang on for a second, ma'am. And, uh sent one of the Marines inside and got one of the new big air safety. One of the first the safety, first safety, safety ones. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it was, I mean, it was probably worth 250 300 Oh, yeah. You know I couldn't I mean? believe she it. She broke down crying. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And, and that stuff is reserved. I mean, if it's somebody that needs it. Right. I mean, they're. You're not I just going to give it to somebody. Just throw it. No, somebody no, says they need no. it. No. I mean, if, if I know somebody that, that just had a baby, you know, and they're not doing too well at the moment, you know what I mean? There are, you know, a lot of veteran families, um, you know, even. You know, active duty. Marines sure, exactly. Reserve Marines that you know they're unemployed at the moment. Right. They come down and they help in the warehouse. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's and, why I want to yeah. see you get it. We're running yeah. out of time, huh? Yeah. But Quick, let's go through it quickly. December eleventh. Yes. Warwick Mall. Yes. Five to nine p.m. We're going to be there with a what we got. Whoever's in town of yes. the Marines. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll be, we'll they'll always be have a, we'll always have a bump mm -hmm. bunch of them. We've never been mm -hmm. without Marines. I mean, they, they find their way down there yeah. somehow, yeah. somewhere. Everybody way. always looks forward to that event. I mean, yeah. it, it's the one where everybody comes out of the woodwork. I mean, and, and there might only be, you know, 10 Marines in uniform there, but a lot of the crowd are all Marines from the unit. That oh, got yeah. A couple years yeah. Ago. So, I mean, you have quite the alumni following. So oh, this that, is our oh, yeah. 19th Victor yeah. J. Venturini Memorial mm -hmm. Toys for Tots Telethon at the Warwick Mall. 5 to 9 p.m. on December 11th. Be there or be square and bring a new unwrapped toy to the Warwick Mall on December 11th. Bring two toys. Bring two. Bring yeah. three toys. Co start a collection. Call Michael. Email Michael, right? Email, yes. Uh, you can go to...